Hey guys, Eric Midgard Arms. So, uh, doing the fitting of the action. Fitting to my action here for my 25284 to the Richards Microfit gun stock that I got. Okay, so I had to open up the barrel channel for the heavier barrel contour. As you can see, I'm most of the way done with that. But uh, just to give you guys a quick little tip on how to do that without having ungodly gaps between your barrels and stuff and uh, to to get a nice tight fit um, you need to really know where to remove material if you got a high spot somewhere low spot something like that you don't just want to start hogging material off to say hey it's all coming out and then I'll just glass bed it to be more perfect so what I did here this is a home just a mason jar just canning jar I do my own canning at home but uh, as you can see I put a uh, candle wick in there or a campfire wick in there a camp camping wick and uh, I'll show you so you take and you light this okay and then as, as it starts to go you see all this black smoke that comes up okay that's that's soot okay let's try to adjust this so you guys can see here so all you want to do is you can see the little marked off spots there. See how you have like a little shiny spot there and then the rest is like that dull black. That's that soot. You run the barrel, the whole barrel channel, don't just do sections. Let's see here. So it's not going to get hot enough to uh, do any damage or take any temper out as long as you don't hold it over the open flame. And all you do is let that soot build up onto that barrel and that action. And then then you take it after it's been all sooted, set it inside the action. I know it's a waste of uh, matches to keep blowing the flame out, but it's uh, kind of stinky. I got this full of kerosene. Just went to the Walmart and got camp fuel kerosene for it. So it's kind of stinky. So once you uh, stick it in your action like this, I always hold down and just kind of squeeze back and forth in there. And what that's going to do, see how the back is raising up? That means you got a high spot somewhere in there. So just do this a few times. And then you'll pull your action out. And then you can look here. You can see right in here, you see that black spot right there. You got a black spot right there. On the other side, you got a little bit right in here. And see, you take your barrel bedding tool and then you just slowly get in there and you scrape that material away. You do it just a little bit at a time. You don't want to go too crazy. Like I said, you don't, you're not doing this to hog off material. So I literally grab it like this, kind of pull with the front, and then just stabilize the back. And I just take that discoloration part out. Make sure you have good lighting in your work area. So you can see. This here, I got this at Wally World that was like 20 bucks for a LED shop light. And man, ever since I added that, I can really see my work area. And this bench I have has a nice light on it as well. All right. Got a little bit up the barrel channel here. So you want the uh, tightest fit you can for the wood around it and then you'll open it up a little bit if you want to glass bed it. Okay, You can open it up some more with this if you want, if you want to get, you know, 
glass bed, the whole barrel channel and all that cool stuff. But to me, I mean, it's more of a more of a craftsman show of your craftsmanship, I guess. If you can get this thing pushed in here and everything else, and have it to where it sits in there where you see no seam or anything, and all you're doing is glass bedding the action itself. Just glass bedding the action yourself, uh, just the action itself um, to add stability to that region. So I wanted to give you guys that quick little tip when you're uh, bedding a rifle or uh, excuse me, or uh, fitting a, uh, an action to a, a brand new stock. Um, Get yourself some $5 kerosene from Walmart, a $2 pack of wicks, and an old mason jar with a lid on it. And you got yourself a little uh, soot candle that you can add soot to your barrel, and it'll show up on your gun stock. All right, you guys. We'll see you next time.